Okay, guys, we've got a subject that we want to touch on today because we've had a couple of emails, and I'm sure a few of you have seen us use this thing in the shop. It's an oxyacetylene cutting torch. Now, it's a pretty primitive tool, but it's pretty handy to have around, whether you need to heat a few things up or if you need to do a tidbit of cutting. Now, there's some safety precautions that you need to do before you get too carried away. Whenever you go to mount your regulator, they kind of set it up so that it's kind of foolproof. Now, if you'll notice that the threads on this one, I'm actually turning the nut or stud kind of backwards. Well, it's got left-handed threads, keep you from messing up. In addition to that, on the oxygen side, if you notice, this has actually got female threads to it, and these are right-handed. That helps to keep you from getting them mixed up. Whenever you go to tighten these things up, you don't gotta get like Hulk on it. You just wanna snug them up good. Now we can check for leaks. The first thing that you want to do is turn off the knobs here on your torch head, and then you can crack open the bottles. Now, whenever you go to check for the leaks, you can use water and some dish soap and a spray bottle and spray here at all the joints. It's that simple. All right, we look like we're in pretty good shape, so we can move on to check the acetylene bottle. Ooh, we about out. And it looks like we're in pretty good shape there as well. So now we can move on to adjusting the regulator. To do that, what you want to do is crack open the knob to whichever bottle you're trying to adjust, and then just simply turn this knob. That gives you the most accurate reading. Now, as a rule of thumb, you're looking for about seven PSI. Here on the oxygen side, you're looking for 40 PSI. We're just a little bit low. Another thing that you want to check is the tip. Now this one isn't too dirty, but you know, maintaining a clean tip is always good practice. To clean this thing, you need a tip cleaner. It's got a flat file and a bunch of round ones to clean all those ports. Well, that pretty much does it for your basic setup on bottles and regulators, and we'll dig a little deeper on setting up your torch next time. 